Hello everyone and welcome back to another week here on Eat Sleep Brief. In this week's video we're actually not going to be covering anything to do with my tank. As you guys can see, uh, I actually got invited to Mode Aquarium's facility and um, their new launch on their completely new Infinity Series tank. So these tanks are very new. They've done a lot of innovation. Actually, I'm very excited to say that I had some part to do on recommendations, what I thought they should do um, in the tanks. And um, just to give you guys a quick summary, they released a 50 gallon, 70 gallon, um, 100 gallon, and 130 uh, gallon tank. So in this video, guys, we're gonna kind of be talking about the details, the features, everything that uh, these new tanks include come with right out of the box. So sit down and enjoy. So I know a lot of people out there are wondering already, as far as the stands are concerned, what colors are they offered in? Well, the good news is they're offered in pretty much the common colors we've come to know, uh, both being black and white. Uh, I'm a big fan of white, you know, it's probably a color I would do. Uh, but for you guys that either don't like it or doesn't match your furniture, they do um, have both black and white color options. So I know you guys are probably really anxious to for me to really get to the feature of this tank, you're probably asking yourself, so what's new? It's probably just any other old tank, you know, just another name, another, you know, marketing thing slapped on and it's the same thing. Well, I'm glad to say, no guys, uh, Motocrims did go above and beyond on delivering something that is truly brand new in our industry. I think you guys are gonna love very much. So to start off with, you're probably noticing the panels. So the panels are, um, included in both black and white so for you guys that you know like the black perfect for you guys that like the white good uh, these panels are also removable they're magnetic they're made of a very light uh, anti-corrosion material uh, very easy to be removed just slide the top uh, back a little bit pull them straight up you can easily set them aside so anytime you need to do maintenance here tank it makes it very simple a nice feature and very well thought out is the sumps can be removed from either the right or left side as soon as you remove the panel. Uh, so if ever you do need to do some crazy maintenance, uh, shouldn't be very hard to do so. Immediately, one thing you are uh, probably going to notice once you remove the panel, you're probably seeing, so what, what, what is that? What kind of stand is that? Well, guys, I'm very happy to say that these stands that are included are 100% aluminum stands right out of the box. You guys heard right, aluminum stands right out of the box. You don't need to go out, have one custom made, powder coated and all that nasty, expensive, time consuming mess. Um, right out of the box, they included on these Infinity Series aluminum stands. So you can rest assured that you're gonna have something sturdy, something strong, something rigid. Believe it or not, we had an earthquake last week here in California of 6.8, I believe. Uh, my buddy Shalom's 130 gallon infinity series held up without any issue <clears throat> so at least you know that you're gonna get something very strong very sturdy um, so yeah another nice feature you're gonna notice is the sumps on these things so the sumps um, and the sump in any tank I think is very important uh, very few companies tend to give you a sump that takes up the full uh, cabinet space in my opinion I love that I prefer that uh, one because it allows you to you know use more uh, reactors better equipment um, you know down the road number two it gives you more water volume we all know with more water volume is more consistent uh, parameters so very nice of them to go above and beyond and give you a sump that actually takes up the full dimensions of your cabinet uh, also you're going to notice with these sumps they have a very big center area uh, this area here is, is ideally for a refugium um, they really made it for that. So for you guys looking for the Trident method, you should have no issues running the Trident method with this sump. Or if you just want to, you know, put your uh, create a frag section, you can do that as well. Put some fish in there if you wish, um, or you know, run whatever you want down there. The skimmers are to be run on the left side, right in front of the return chambers. Uh, but all in all, you get a sump with plenty of room. You can easily mix stuff around, move stuff around as far as is of equipment is concerned. So moving on to the back of the tank, you're probably wondering about the plumbing. You're probably asking yourself, so is all this plumbing included in the tank? That uh, gate valve, um, the union connections, like is all, does all this come with it? <clears throat> well guys, I'm very happy to say that all the plumbing is included. The big old gate valve is included. 
the unions are included so if ever you do need to remove something you can easily uh, remove it another nice thing guys this is made uh, the the pvc itself is made of unplasticized uh, pvc so for you guys that aren't familiar with this it's just a higher grade uh, pvc it's actually one of the highest if not the highest grade of a pvc uh, material you can get out there uh, so you know that you know motocrims took zero shortcuts when designing this tank not only um, in the sump the stand but in the plumbing as well so since we are here in the back you're probably wondering where did they get its name infinity well if you guys are taking a close look at it you're probably thinking this looks like a ghost overflow right well it kind of looks like it but it's not it's very similar i guess you can say but at the same time it's not um, typically a ghost overflow a part of it will be inside the tank protruding about two two to three inches inside the tank that's where the overflow would go you would drill two holes into your glass run the uh, returns uh, through there um, and you know that's kind of how it goes this one here it's very different um, if you guys can see it has kind of the the small little weirs where the water overflows to and it overflows back into a box so this box here is kind of where all the water is coming into then falling down into your plumbing and obviously you have your two returns on the side so a nice thing i, I like that they did with this uh this rear chamber here for the overflow it's made out of the same thickness as the tank so it's half inch um, half inch glass so you don't have to worry about you dinging it you know you messing it up a lot of the time with the ghost overflows I'm afraid of the plastic I can break it I'm pretty sure if you broke that you wouldn't be having a good day um, so it's very nice to see that it's made pretty much the same material um, and same thickness as your glass you can rest assured that it is very rigid another nice thing about this infinity overflow it takes up no space inside the tank so if you look at the back wall it's all 100 percent completely flat on the way uh, to the top <clears throat> and the way it got its infinity uh, name from if you take off the weir uh, the little mesh guard here for the overflow you kind of see where it looks like an infinity pool it flows all the way to the back you can actually run the tank like this the only reason is it probably wouldn't be ideal is because snails and fish would uh, go back there thus going in your overflow um, they could potentially clog something um, but another nice thing guys that i want to share with you is how dead silent these tanks are and believe me when i say dead silent you cannot hear anything from the overflow itself uh, the only thing you're able to hear um, is the return pump so what i'm gonna do here real quick is quiet down for about 10 seconds to allow you guys to listen to it So kind of the last thing to cover is going to be the tanks themselves. Uh, so I know a lot of you guys are, are asking yourself, what is, what is the glass? So it's what we're typically used to um, from you know what's out there in the industry. It is low iron glass. It's very clear. It's very easy to see. Um, again, it's your very pretty standard, straightforward glass that we're used to seeing um, in saltwater aquariums. Um, I don't currently have the dimensions for each and every size as far as the glass uh, thickness i will tell you in seeing them in person uh, they're nothing to worry about they kind of went a little bit uh, over on the sizes just to guarantee you know they're very strong structurally sound um, and you know you shouldn't expect any issues uh, now again the sizes that they do come in um, and the sizes i'm mentioning are the displays themselves it's not the size of the sump um, starting out with a 50 gallon 70 gallon 100 gallon and 135 gallons now one tank that really stands out to me is 135 gallon this is what i would truly consider a reef tank uh, the dimensions and I'm, i may be incorrect on it but i believe it's uh, four feet wide 
by 30 inches front to back and I want to say 22 inches high what really stands out um, especially for you guys that have had bigger reefs <coughs> excuse me is the 30 inches from front to back guys I'm six feet you know two inches tall and I can't even reach the back of the tank uh, reaching my hand across uh, the front of it so it's very big it allows you for a very big scape I think for my future upgrade I'm either going to do the 135 or the 70 <clears throat> infinity series I think a lot of us out there watching this video we're probably gonna be very happy even with the 70 um, you know it kind of has all the great features we're looking for the sump uh, the plumbing I mean the plumbing alone you can easily grow uh, you know to put some manifolds or pretty much adapt them to anything you like so guys I think we've kind of covered just about everything I think one of the last things to cover is you guys are probably wondering what these tanks uh, come with out of the box so out of the box you get the aluminum stand you get the glass sump uh, now one thing I, I forgot to mention the glass sumps you may see a white you know cover it your you may think they're acrylic the white acrylic piece you see on the front of them it's just an over <coughs> excuse me an overlay over the glass now the reason they did glass over acrylic acrylic is great and all when it's brand new but over time it tends to get dirty uh, more importantly when you go to clean it it tends to get scratched very easily which is why they went with the glass uh, sump and just put an acrylic overlay on top of that but you can see they did a great job looks fine nice clean setup so yes the tanks do come with aluminum stand they come with a sump they come obviously with the tank itself and all the plumbing you see in the rear you know they don't come with lighting don't come with return any of that standard equipment you're gonna have to purchase but as far as tank plumbing stand sump is concerned that is all <coughs> excuse me included so I think one of the last thing you guys are wondering is what's the price point? So don't quote me on any of these numbers, guys, as I don't have the exact numbers in front of me. I, I want to say the 50 gallon is going to be, um, I want to say 1,100 bucks. So the 70 is going to be uh, 16 to 1,800 bucks. The 100 gallon is going to be uh, 2,300 bucks, and the 135 is going to be 2,800 bucks. Again, don't quote me on it. Uh, for any of these either numbers specs anything that you may be wondering there or maybe just i missed be sure to head over to motoquariums.com they should be loading uh, these tanks up as far as the description and all that's concerned <clears throat> here in the very very near future these tanks are actually ready to order so you can either hit them up on instagram uh, you can give them a call and they'll be more than happy to answer any questions you can already place an order they're already shipping them uh, they're still working though on the website as of the time of this video I believe only the 50 gallons up uh, currently on the website but like I said feel free to reach out to them <coughs> excuse me give them a call and they'll be more than happy to uh, answer any questions you may have so guys I think we're gonna end this video here I hope I covered everything Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys saw the value that I saw in these tanks and everything they're giving you right out of the box. If you are looking for an upgrade either now or later down the road, you know, keep them in your mind, check them out. Um, <clears throat> one thing I did also wanna add guys, if let's say for instance, you purchase a black cabinet uh, model and you later wanna change it to white, they do sell the cabinets separately. Uh, so you can always switch down the road either to white to black uh, you can purchase them separately down the road um but yeah guys if you guys have any questions comments or concerns please leave them down in the comment box below i'd love to hear what you guys think about these tanks let me know what you guys think about the features you know let me know if you guys love them i know some of you may not but really hope you guys enjoyed it as always thanks for watching happy reefing